Welcome, welcome, welcome. It is three o'clock on the dot, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So let me move everything over. Welcome, guys, to another hello, hello, hello. As you guys are coming in, as you guys are coming in, I'm just saying hello, hello, hello. It's exciting to have you here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hola. Welcome, 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 guys, to another episode of Mondays with Marty. Mondays with Marty, where I give you tips, guys, to rock your business and to live your best life, guys. So people always ask me, I want to clarify again, if you're just joining in, welcome to another episode of Mondays with Marty, guys. So why is it that I say tips to rock your business and live your best life? And people say, well, are you a life coach? Are you a business coach? Well, to be honest with you guys, here it is. The deal is when you are rocking your business, you are living your best life. Yes, indeedy, baby. Yes, indeedy. Okay. Bueno, buenas tardes. Hola, aquí. Mi nombre es Marti Ángel. Gracias por estar aquí. Lunes con Marti. All right, guys. Today is a big topic. Today is a topic that has been brought up more than once. It's a topic that everybody in the industry tends to face. And it is a topic that is clearly something that we need. Hey, hello, 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 hello. So hello. Let me write hello. People are popping in. Yay. Okay, guys. So what is today's topic? Today's topic is very simple. Is network marketing a Ponzi scheme? This is such a current topic right now, guys. We're all online. We're all listening to podcasts if we're driving to and from work and we're all or we're on Clubhouse but this is so very current, guys, because with the social media attention that, that the industry is getting, because network marketing, guys, is an industry, okay? It has been getting a lot of attention right now, a lot of attention. So I want to address this question, but before I begin to address the question of whether or not it's a Ponzi scheme, I want to address a different question. A question that says to you, am I open-minded? I want to give a disclaimer here though. As I move forward on this, I want to give you a disclaimer. I am a professional network marketer. I am also an educator. And so people have said, how does that how does that mesh? Because you can't be educated and then be a network marketer. And my, my answer to that, guys, is obviously the person that's asking isn't the educated person because that's so not true, at least not in my world, right? So with all that being said, I do want you to know that I've been researching this with a very open mind and really coming up with some things that I think are very valuable to you if you are a network marketer or if you have heard or have friends that are network marketers. I really want you to take this in because this is critically important for you to totally understand, right? So what is network marketing? ¿Qué es el mercadeo en red? So according to Investopedia, which is an online magazine, according to that, network marketing is a business model that depends on person-to-person -person sales, guys, by independent representatives, often working from home or their place of choice. Now listen to that, working from home or their place of choice. A network marketing business may require you to build a network of business partners or salespeople to assist with lead generation and closing sales. That's according to Investopedia, guys. And I looked at, at Barron's and I looked at some other things, um, some other um, 
magazines and business journals, and that's exactly what it is. It's also known as a multi-level marketing, referral marketing, consumer direct marketing, and now in today's world, it is also known as an affiliate, an affiliate marketing program. So now I'm going to say it in Spanish. El mercadeo en red es un modelo comercial que depende de las ventas de persona a persona por parte de representantes independientes que a menudo trabajan desde la casa o de un lugar donde ellos escogen. Un negocio de mercadeo en red puede requerir que tenga que crear una red de socios comerciales o vendedores para ayudar con la generación de clientes potenciales y el cierre de las ventas. También se conoce como um, marketing multinivel, marketing de referencia, marketing de directo al consumidor. Y ahora en actualmente como marketing de afiliados. Yay. Boy, that was tough. That was a mouthful. Anyway, so according to Tony Robbins, now raise your hand if you know who Tony Robbins is. You're not gonna, you're not gonna believe this. I did some really down digging and Tony Robbins has a whole research page on what network marketing is and I believe he is really promoting that really in in and and so but that's for another day anyway according to tony robbins no matter what you call it he says these are businesses where the best entrepreneurs can succeed and even find their true gift now the operative word is the best the best so yes it's a cutthroat world out there but it is also really important. Um, so really guys, the best. And how do you get to be the best? Consistency. You don't wake up one day and say, I am the best network marketer. Well, you can, but to be honest with you, it is practice consistently taking a step and an, into the be the first, the forward direction every single day, okay? No importa como lo llames, estos negocios son los mejores, donde los mejores emprendedores pre aprenden a tener éxito e incluso encontrar su verdadero regalo. Eso es lo que dice Tony Robbins, all right? Now, Let's go back in and let's go to the Federal Trade Commission. The Federal Trade Commission is always watching this industry. And according to the Federal Trade Commission, shutting down pyramid schemes, because pyramid schemes are illegal in the U.S. and many other parts of the world. So, is network marketing a Ponzi um, pyramid scheme? Absolutely not. It is the largest industry right now in the world, still to this day, right? And so according to the Federal Trade Commission, I'm going to read this to you, a single tier network marketing operations tends to be more reputable than multi-tier schemes in which people make money based on the number of distributors they recruit. So what that means, guys, here's what it means to me. All those sleazy people that, and I call them sleazy, forgive me, I'm not judging, but I call them, they're sleazy ways. They're not sleazy people, but they're sleazy ways when they say, get in on the ground floor, you're going to make more money because you're going to be at the top and everybody underneath you. When somebody says something like that, run. Run away run away because that is illegal according to what I just read to you from the Federal Trade Commission, okay? So real true network marketing companies actually share product and they get paid for product they sell and they also get paid for product that other people in their 
in their um, sphere of influence, in their network marketing team, in their, you know, in their uh, community all sell. Now notice I'm, I'm choosing my words very carefully because I want to be very positive about this. So it's really important that you run away from those people that say get in on the ground floor. Okay. Now what you got to look at guys to make sure it's not a Ponzi scheme is that it doesn't matter when you get in that you should have the same ability to make just as much or more money than the person that you are underneath. If that is the case, if that is the case, then it is a true viable vehicle for you to make some, some, you know, extra income. You know, it's, I'm going to be honest with you, the statistics are that usually only approximately about 10% of the people really make big money. But that doesn't mean that you can't make $200 a week. Now, let me just ask you, let me just ask you, I want to be honest with you. How would making 200 extra dollars a week change your life? That's about $800 a month. Would that change your life? Would that change your lifestyle? If the answer is yes, then from the book, Multiple Streams of Income, I highly recommend that you go find one, right? But here's the deal, guys. So people always ask me, is it a scheme, Marty? No, it's not a scheme. While network marketing and multi-level marketing programs have been, excused, have been accused of being pyramid schemes, there are really important differences, really. While those that who are able to recruit more members into the program are often the ones that enjoy more and greater residual commissions, that's the truth right? So what does that say to me? What that says to me, that says to me that if you put your big girl pants on or your big boy pants on and you take this business and you run with it and you take care of it like if it were a real business, then my friends, you will probably be one of the top 10%. But if you're working it and not doing it daily, and not consistently, and only as a hobby, it will pay you as a hobby. Now, for some of you, you guys may say, well, that's okay. A hobby is okay. You know, 50 bucks here, 60 bucks here, and that's okay. But the thing is, is don't blame the industry for the fact that you didn't make a million dollars if you're not putting in a million dollars worth of work. Truth. Truth, guys, right? So, Network marketing is a legitimate and legal business structure. Let me repeat that. According to the FTC, that offers real products and services sold to customers. So what you need to find out is how long, number one, here's, here's what my husband, who is the CPA, says, right? He's a CPA. He's a former government auditor. And he says, well, first of all, you need to make sure the company is public because when the company is public, then my friends, there is transparency in what they do and how they report. Boom. Number one right? Number two, he says, make sure it is a company that is in more than just one country, that it is international grade and internationally it's being accepted because every country has different trade, um, you know, different trade rules. So if it's making it in, in different countries, now you can make sure that it's there. So now, let's see, it was publicly traded. It's making, it's making its way in many countries. And number three, and most important, from the CFO of a microfinance lending company, when they look at companies, that company has to have 10 to 15 years proven track record of earnings from the people that are there. 
a lot of the, and they're popping up all the time, but do they have the proven track record yet? So that's going to be critically important, guys. So those are some three things that I think you should look at. Let's talk a little bit about the advantages. One of the best advantages of network marketing is that you will feel like your own boss because there ain't nobody going to tell you, you got to do this and you got to do that. Of course, unless you're on my team, then I'm the bossy bitch, but that's okay, right? So without, you know, you get to feel like your own boss without taking on the responsibility of starting your own company. The financial cost, it, the beauty about this is that it's got a very low startup cost. The downside of that is because it's got such a low cost, a lot of people don't take it seriously. So you can get all the benefits of having an, a marketing team, a coach, an advertising team, a customer service team, a product team, a merchandising team, a shipping team, all of that when you enroll with a network marketing company. Now again, you've got to do your, dil your due diligence, guys. The beauty about this also is that you can work from anywhere in the world, anywhere in the world that you choose to work from. You can make your own hours, you can get flexibility, you can get more, um, you know, entrepreneurs really love to make their own, you know, call their own shots. And the beauty about this is, is that you don't have any other risks. So you don't have to pay that marketing team, you don't have to pay that accounting team, you don't have to, right? But there are things that you need to do. Thank you, Kanush. Another advantage is that you will gain skills that you can use in a future endeavor. The If you're consistent in building this business, my friends, my friends, this is the same as, as learning to build another business. Let me tell you, because I am a business major. My friends, I was a business major, guys. I had marketing and management. I have a bachelor's degree. I can show it to you from San Diego State, one of the top 10 um, business schools in the nation. And let me tell you, I have learned more from being my own boss in this network marketing business than I did out of the books that I studied for four years at college. Right. So that's the beauty about that. You develop instant connections. You develop a, a network of people. You learn how to make persuasive presentations. You know what it takes to cultivate and lead a team. And you know what it takes to come through as an effective follow through person. Now, the disadvantages of a network marketing team are similar to those in a sales business. It's going to take time. It's going to take time. Let me repeat that again. It's going to take time to build your business. It will take, you know, they say that a, a brick and mortar business takes five to 10 years to really get that foundation. So I'm not sure why people think that they, as soon as they join a network marketing um, company, they are going to, you know, they're going to uh, all of a sudden be rich. Ain't happening. It's a business. You got to build it. You got to build, you've got to build those habits. You, you, maybe you never had a business before. You've got to build those business habits. This is not a job. You've got to build the business habits, guys. And a lot of people, one of the other disadvantages is that you're going to hear a lot of no's and you're going to feel inside, I don't want the, uh, the I don't want to's, I call them. The illness is called the I don't want to. I don't want to talk to him because. I don't want to talk to her because. I don't want to talk to that person because. I don't want, I mean, ugh. and you know what? There's only one way to actually be healed from that disease of the I don't want to's. And that is to stay steady, keep moving forward because competition can be fierce. So as you know, you've got to be consistent. Never relent, my friends, never relent. 
Always keep moving forward. Always remember, you are still an entrepreneur. And even though you work as part of a network, as a network in this team, whether you succeed or whether you fail, it's not their fault. It is not their fault. Now, they would love to see you succeed. Most do. But there are times where you were brought in by somebody and my friends, they left the business and they left you hanging and now you feel alone and now you feel like, oh my God, there's nobody to teach me. But there are people that will take you in and you, you know, you learn to strengthen your resilience, guys. You learn, you've got to learn to, to build your brand. You've got to learn to market yourself. You've got to learn to innovate just as you would in a traditional business. So that's going to be really, really important for you guys to realize that. All right, guys. Well, so I hope that cleared up a lot of your concerns that you have. And guys, if you found value in this, please share this video with someone you know who may benefit from listening to this. And guys, there are people out there, if you're up, they call it an upline, if that person left and you can't find somebody, you know, there are people out there that will help you. There's coaches out there. Remember, a good coach has coaches. And the one thing I want to share with you guys, I'm so excited. Pretty soon, pretty soon, within the next couple of months or month and a half, I am going to be opening the doors to the Rock Your Biz Academy, which services network marketers, solopreneurs, and guys, micro business owners. So if you're interested in moving your business forward and in moving your business from a five figure to a six figure, I invite you guys to make sure that you stay very alert because pretty soon the doors will open to the Rock Your Biz Academy. All right, guys. So if you want to hear this replay, it'll be here on Facebook. It's also on the YouTube channel, Coach Marty Angel. I also want to take some time to invite you to take that entrepreneurial quiz to see if you really have it inside you to be an entrepreneur. Go to www.martyangel.com and as soon as you hit, there will be a pop-up. It'll say the entrepreneurial quiz. Take the quiz, guys. All right? Okay, guys. Once again, I am so happy to serve you guys. This is Marty Angel, Latina Biz Coach, signing off. I hope you guys all have a beautiful Monday, and I will see you. Letty says a little late. No, Letty, better late than never, and there's always the replay, guys. There is always the replay. Now, I hope you found value, and if you did, hashtag value, hashtag replay if you saw it, and guys, share it. I will see you next week on another episode of Mondays with Marty. Have a great one, guys. Gracias.